fever which is caused by dengue virus and transmitted by female mosquitoes of genus Aegis is called dengue fever. It can also be called brick bone fever. Let's talk about uh, the chief complaint, the frodrome, which is a uh, two days of weakness, myalgia, malaise, and headache. Symptoms are fever, continuous or biphasic, saddle type. Uh, the fever curve, which lasts for two to seven days, and associated with headache, sweating, prostitution, joint pain, generalized body pain, back pain. So that's how it's called brick bone fever. Pain on eye movement, like cremation, eye congestion, and redness. Anorexia, nausea, omitting, abdominal pain, loose stools, relative bradycardia, and limp adenopathy. Uh, rashes are macular rash in the first one to two days, macular, fafular, scarlet, morbiform rash from day three to five on trunk, may disquamate on resolution, fast history for diabetic, hypertension, menstrual history in female. Uh, now WHO classification grade one. Grade 2, Grade 3, Grade 4. Grade 1 will be just fever, body pain, myalgia, constitutional symptom, positive tourniquet test, WPTKI formations. Grade 2, spontaneous bleeding. Grade 3, spontaneous bleeding plus circulatory failure. Grade 4 is severe shock. Now let's talk about investigation. The CBC, there will be, you will see leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, bicytopenia, and hematocrit will increase. If it increases uh, 5 to 10 percent, that is mild, and if it is increased by 20 percent, there is severe plasma leakage. We will do dengue NS1 antigen uh, from day 1st to 3 of fever, and dengue serology IM IgG, which are antibody against dengue, will do on day 6 of fever and onward. We can also do PCR, dengue virus isolation, SGPT, SGOT, serum bilirubin, and serum creatinine. Warning signs, severe abdominal pain or tenderness, persistent omitting, no clinical improvement or worsening of situation, mucosal bleed from nose, gum, blood in omit, black stools, lethargy, restlessness, sudden behavior changes, liver enlargement, increase in HCT, and decrease in flatlet count, less or no urine output for 4 to 6 hours, fail, cold and calmy hands and feet. Divide the patient into group A, group B and group C. Group A patients are, uh, these patients are without warning symptom and there is no high risk condition like pregnancy, infancy, diabetic, hypertension and this group A patient can tolerate oral fluid and can force urine six hourly. So treat this patient as outpatient. Uh, encourage fluid intake the patient should increase the fluid intake more than six glasses of water, milk, fruit juice, and uh, ORS, uh, barely rice water, coconut water. We don't give the plain water because they can cause electrolyte imbalance. Uh, do cold sponging for high grade fever. Give tefrastamol, but do not exceed more than four grams per day. So encourage fluid intake cold sponging and give paracetamol. For group B patients which need be admissions, these patients are with high risk condition like pregnancy, diabetic, infancy, old age, renal failure, heart failure, chronic hemolytic disease, obesity, hypertension, or there is warning sign. Treat as inpatient or I mean admit the patient. Give infusion normasaline for 9% IV at the rate 10 drops per minute for 48 hour or 1.5 ml per kg per hour or 40 ml per hour. Also infusion ferrocetamol state and IV TDS and SOS. Omeprazole 40 mg one while I state and OD. Do cold sponging. Now for group C patient admit the patient. These patients are with severe plasma leakage mean HCT is increased more by 20%. Or the patient is in shock, there is severe bleeding or severe organ impairment, myocarditis, encephalopathy, renal damage, or severe metabolic acidosis, decreased calcium, or patient with hypotension or shock. These are group C patients. Uh, for group C patients, the treatment is infusion of mesaline or ring lactate 30 mg per kg infused over 15 minutes, then give continuous fluid until vital sign become normal. Uh, thrombocytopenia, I mean the platelet count is less than 10,000, give platelet transfusion and there is no rule of corticosteroids. Presumptive diagnosis of dengue 
fewer. Live or travel in endemic area fewer or more of the two following. Nausea, omitting rash, edges if like headache, myalgia, joint pain, positive tourniquet signs, warning sign, leukophenia, WBC is less than 500 and HCT uh, is rise by 10 mm-hmm. And do not. Do not give antiflatlet aspirin, clopidogrel. Do not give anticoagulant heparin or warfarin. Do not give steroid. Do not give IM injection. Don't do tooth brushing and combing. The insects are now okay, except don't give aspirin, other insects are okay. Ibuprofen are also okay. Studies says ibuprofen is okay. No problem with it. Uh, don't give antibiotic. Use mosquito repellent ferastamol for high grade fever, start IV fluid for repeated omitting or rapidly increase in HCT. Do recognize critical phase, encourage fluid intake, monitor fluid intake output. Clinical assessment before and after each bolus, fluid bolus, give colloid albumin for refractory shock, blood transfusion, FHCT, dropping with unstable vital signs or significant bleeding. Discharge criteria, no fever for at least 24 hours without use of antipyretic drugs, at least two days have left after recovery from shake, improved appetite, normal HCT, at baseline value, no distress from fluoral effusion, no ascites. Platelet count has risen above 50,000 and no other complications.